Alright, so what do we got going on, Victor? Uh, really weird hit. Picked it up a lot and dropped it a lot. But it was moving really fast. It feels like it's going to have some shoulders. But we're not sure yet. It's kind of swimming in real fast. Kind of like a like a real, like a a larger black tip? I think we're done guessing what kind of sharks because we're pretty <laughs> bad at it. Every time we guess, it turns out to be the opposite. But it's kind of charged in the beach now like a black tip would, but it pulled a lot more drag than a black tip would. So I'm thinking like a kingfish, maybe a largemouth. Maybe. I think we said that yesterday. Uh, I large saw mouth some, bass. Saw some lily pads out there earlier, so there could be. You and your lily pads. Feels like it's gone. I hope that's not a black tip. There's been a lot of sharks around. The only trouble is there's a lot of just smaller sharks. So like we're having to weed through them to get the bites that we really want. Dude, they're so fast. I cut the hook. So I just cut the hook with these bolt cutters. Now we're gonna put them back in the water. We'll follow him out, make sure he's good. Picked off real fast. Awesome, man. Good job, good work. I got my main man yeah. right here on the tail rope. Never fails. Yeah, maybe Stop one of these days he'll tail rope a hammer for me. Yeah, so. I don't know. <laughs> this was the second hammer we got of the season at this very beach. That was around an eight foot hammer. A lot yeah. of people think that they're not that big, but that tail adds a lot of length. Yeah. We. This is why we fish that tight drag. Exactly. We fought that fish for, for around seven minutes. They came in really green. But when they come in really green like that and fresh, they're able to swim off. They're not tired. Yep. They you don't live. have deaths. You don't have that. It starts dying on you. You don't. Action. So a lot of people ask us if we get the hook out, how do we get the hook out? We always have a pair of bolt cutters on the beach. These bolt cutters will cut through almost any hook you buy on the market. And the ingenious thing about this is a lot of times the hook is in a dangerous place. You can't get it. So you just end up cutting it in half. When you cut it in half, you take pliers, you just slip it out right through the other side. Mm -hmm. We did that with the hammer. I mean, it's, it's the greatest method to use. So everyone, if you guys are shark fishing, do it responsibly out there. Don't mess up this fishery for us. Everyone likes to do it. If you want to keep doing it for years and you want your kids to do it, be smart, clean up your beaches, and care about these fish. Exactly. I like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Cool.